Hello everybody, welcome to episode 13 of All the Mods 9 to the Sky, where today we start down the path of blood magic. So let's get into the darker arts. Okay guys, uh, I've been over here in the nether before and I noticed something this way. We have a pig, uh, pigling structure. Oh, I should should try to capture you. You have two of these yonkers on me. I'll be right back for you. Um, and I figure we'll head west from here. Yeah, there's that. And uh, see, looking around thought I saw that. We have a structure here. Try to snag a blaze is fighting a Okay, Drew the Marble Winner. Ooh, 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 weather skeleton. Yes, yes, yes. One of you guys. Nope, no one. One of you, yes. Okay, so getting withered effect. Pull away. Uh, here's one. Got us a blaze. We got us a wither. I'm gonna go home. Put these in the drink me zoo, and I will be right back. I'm also gonna go capture one of those blitz. All right, guys, uh, after I filmed that first portion, uh, I had to wrap up my day of streaming over on Twitch. And I, I've been away from the server for a little bit. And yeah, I, I noticed that uh, we're backed up on the stuff that we're producing. I mean, I wanted to get some wither skeleton skulls in here. So anyway, with that done, let's go grab some steak real quick. Should have some in here. Uh, with that done, I have an idea. I want to make storage drawers and like apply them to the outside here so we can just come over here and snag what we need. Uh, from the supplies. So first, let's uh, go at functional and uh, make some drawers. Uh, so let's grab some oak out of here. Uh, have uh, stone being made now as well. Some uh, other stuff but stack of uh, drawers or yeah stack of 1x drawers should be good should be more than enough uh, for a little bit next we need a, a drawer controller Ah, here we go. Storage controller. So all we need is one of these. Okay, so we've got a storage controller drawers here. Um, with these drawers, we're also going to need a linking tool. What are we missing here? Paper. So a linking tool and a configuration tool, which, yeah, we need more paper. All right, so what we'll do here is, I think what I wanna do is Replace 
the drawers or er, replace this wall right here. You know, the the one that lets me keep these guys happy and entertained with uh, the mobs that they're dancing for. Uh, keep them safe and secure from random mobs coming up and showing like that. Now you're going to be like, well, you're, you're not putting the storage controller right next to it. Well, that's because this is uh, where I want the storage controller. We're going to right click that linking tool and you can see this green here. Anywhere inside of this green, uh, this storage uh, can be connected to storage drawers and Uh, I do, do, do. I can lock all of these up first before we continue connecting them. Just link all of these up here and uh, it's getting all of the stuff from this drawer here. So we'll take some raw money, the experience, and the bones here. Bones. Experience. Raw mutton. We'll set up arrows. Pretty much anything that this can produce. We want to set up a drawer for. So give me a moment to deal with this rain and uh, getting all of this set up. I'm sure, you guys already know how to do storage drawers very well. Uh, Another thing we're going to need for all of these is I'm going to do some upgrades real quick. But that'll be, or yeah, I'm going to do some upgrades. We're going to make, uh, I don't know. I think I have enough obsidian to make, yeah, that, that is, okay, we have enough for 10 void upgrades, uh, copper, very simple, just need blocks of copper, we'll go, okay, six blocks of copper, Grab out some copper from there. And we'll, we'll make upgrades of for stuff that we're going to need a lot of. Oh. Three, four, five, six, uh, that's fine. It's just simple, you know, you progress up these to higher tiers. And honestly, once it gets to diamond, in my honest opinion, diamond seems to be the best one. The only reason why I did all of them is to get the quests done up for this stuff so I can just pretty much uh, come in here, claim all these rewards. And uh, as you can see here from quests being complete from uh, previous times, which completed more quests. Uh, that. That's fine. 
Uh, I'm just going to toss this all up in here. And uh, progressive when uh, getting this all set up. I will be right back. Okay. Today, I know we've already done a lot of stuff. So this is our ultimate goal right here. We want to get into blood magic. Um, need a blood altar and a sacrificial knife and some uh, regular stone to really get into it. Now, I've built this platform over here uh, off of our blood magic or off of our uh, RS Nouveau area for our blood magic. And uh, I'm hoping this is going to be big enough. Uh, so once we start doing blood magic, we, we got to make sure we're fully health, have full health, uh, and hit ourselves with the sacrificial knife. Well, once we do that, we get life essence. Uh, we want to get about... A one bucket of life essence in there, and that should store it. And then we can stick a stone in there. Well, after a little bit, that stone, uh, and like almost a thousand blood points, turns into blank slates. Uh, we will be needing a lot of these blank slates, so... What I need to do is automate the blank slates. And uh, the way I'm going to do it is through laser IO. Uh, I'm going to need not that much laser IO to start with, but I, I figured get a good bit of those uh, logic chips started up. Uh, we're going to need two of these laser connectors to make uh, two of these laser nodes. I'm going to need glass, glass panes. I can English today. All right. Uh, I want two of those laser I.O. nodes. And a wrench from laser I.O. And uh, next we need two of these item cards. They do not stack in your inventory. And a counting card, which takes a blank card, or a basic, uh, basic filter, and an overseer to get this counting card. Kind of expensive to start with, but it's worth it. And at functional, we want to make uh, the 4x4 four four grid here, one of these. Now, let's see here. We have everything to do this automation-wise, the starting automation. Uh, we'll just need a chest as well. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, what we'll take a few of these bricks here to just get this set up only. And what we will do is set this drawer here uh, and a laser node here. Oh, we're going to probably need one more of these item cards. 
Yeah, we're going to need one of these item cards with a filter. So let's make one more of these item cards. Okay. And filter. This one can be a basic filter. Laser, one of these basic filters. All right. Let's let's get a little bit of sleep in, so we can have some daylight to do this. Fly the right direction. Uh, what I'm going to do is set this in here and a basic slate. I'm going to lock this with the... Okay, I put those away. I accidentally put those away. So what we will do is have a... Uh, on the altar side, an item card. In this item card, we want a counting filter. And we want it to count stone. Okay? It's going to insert only one stone. Uh, you can put more stone there, and it will try to put more into it. But we only want it to put one. One max one out into it. Uh, and we'll have that on the white channel. On the north side, we're going to have an item card. We're going to say it can insert, but it's going to insert on channel orange with a basic filter. We're going to tell this basic filter uh, we want it to Yeah, we want it to pull or only put in blank slates. Okay. Now on the blood altar side, we're going to put in another item card. On this item card, or er, no. We're going to need two more item cards, aren't we? Uh, on the blood altar side, we want to set this to extract one orange. So it'll pull out from the blood altar any blank slates. And on... You need one more uh, item cards. So you need a total of four item cards for this, just to let you guys know. All right, and this last one will go on here, and we're going to need a another filter card. Uh, no, no, we're not going to need another filter card. We're going to need to tell it that uh, on this side, it can pull out, extract, on the white channel. Okay, and you see that it will put a stone in there for us. So we just got to offer enough blood to the altar here, uh, trying to keep our health full. to make these blank slates. So once I make this stack of blank slates, I'm going to see how much time we have left. And actually, we just need how many blank slates uh, at Blood Magic. Uh, I want to make some of these blank runes, which requires us to make a blood orb, which we need to make the apprentice blood orb, which, no, no, sorry. We're going to need a diamond. 
uh, to in there. So let's go grab a diamond. And just one. All right, so. Uh, I want to Did I find a dupe? Oh. No, okay, okay. I thought I did for a split second. Uh, I'm going to make this apprentice orb and make some blank runes, which will make this uh, go up to the next tier altar. I'm trying to remember how to see that. Uh, to bind this weak blood orb with us, we just right click and it now says current owner, the Malcor, which... is us. Uh, so when you die and you have uh, one of the, these keys, you can craft it with an uh, ender pearl and you just right click, hold it, you'll teleport right to your corpse. Um, Don't want to waste too much of my life. Make sure that it's good. I'm not the best at blood magic. But I know poking myself a lot is going to help. So, let's, uh, oh. Uh, if you put your blood orb in there, uh, it puts uh, life essence into your uh, network. This is what I know about that much. So let's see here. We're at six. We need three more. Set these in here. And I love automating this blood altar. And I, I could show you guys a cool uh, technique we're going to do with this. Uh, I think probably next time. Because I think having 512 billing slates, well, right now would be a bit too many. All right, let's go over here. Uh, at blood uh, and we want to make some runes all right so we'll place those in there and we have nine runes we only needed eight I will take my blood orb we only needed eight for the tier two blood altar. Uh, and what we'll do is right around this bottom here, we'll add in these blank slates. And that will make us a tier two blood altar trying to remember how you see what the different tiers is. I'll probably show you guys next episode uh, once I remember exactly the way of making 
the blood altar. I'm just double checking here. Should have blood magic started. Oh, we do. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the uh, sanguinine sectium between episodes. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Until then, later, Gators.